But in a sense, you are all winners. Because of the hundreds of books submitted, yours have been chosen to represent the best Irish writing in 2013. And I think I might begin by inviting the gathering this evening to rise and salute your achievements. Yeats said, the literature of a nation is spun out of its heart. If you would know Ireland, body and soul, you must read its poems and stories. And this is the motivation behind these awards. Pride in our literary heritage. And it should be a source of pride to know that publishers, large and small, continue to honour the heritage by bringing so many wonderful books. We in Ireland are also blessed with a network of dedicated booksellers who take pride in their work within their well-appointed and attractive bookshops. We have also witnessed over the last 20 years the development of a library infrastructure that is the pride of Europe, administered by a group of enthusiastic, dedicated and professional librarians. So ladies and gentlemen, our heritage is in good hands. However, we would be foolish to think that its robust good health is guaranteed without care and attention. The pace of structural change and Digital innovation is quickening, and in many ways, that makes things easier and more convenient. But as an American novelist recently said, I worry that the closer the world gets to our fingertips, the further it gets from our hearts. And the more emphasis we put on speed at the expense of depth, the danger is we forget about what really matters. The recession has been hard on our industry. Bookshops have closed. Do we care? Or are we happy to buy online because it's easier? In line with government policy, a national acquisition consortium for public libraries is being established, aimed at maximizing the cost, of, cost effectiveness of resource expenditure. This in effect means that a contract could go to a company from outside the state. Will that company care about Ireland's literary heritage as much as Irish companies do? Again, utilitarian ideas of speed and efficiency win out. We forget what really matters. Nevertheless, we chose to work with books because we love them. And we are aware that difficult challenges must be faced, as they always have been, and will again in the future. We in the book trade must learn to embrace the future without abandoning the past. And it's nights like tonight that remind us of the continuity of that literary heritage that means so much to all of us. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to acknowledge the services of two board members who unfortunately are stepping down as directors. So a big thank you to Fergal Stanley of Argosy and David Field of Eason's. <laughs> Their contributions at board meetings will be missed. At the same time, I would like to welcome on board their replacements, Larry McHale and Alan Johnston. Ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful to see you all. May I wish you an enjoyable evening. Bon appétit. John Tracy, thank you very much indeed for your words.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to introduce the Managing Director of Board Gosh Energy, Mr. David Kerwin. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the 2013 Board Gosh Energy Irish Book Awards. I don't know about the rest of you, but after Sunday's match, it just doesn't feel right wearing black. Anyway, I hope you've all recovered from what was a great performance, but a disappointing result. And I'm especially relieved to see David Walsh, who despite tweeting that he wished he had died at half time, has obviously pulled himself together in time to join us here. Welcome, David. This is the fourth year that we in Borgosh Energy have sponsored these awards, and our enthusiasm and that of our customers for our involvement is greater than ever. As a national energy company, we choose sponsorship activities that matter to our customers and to the communities we work in. Our sponsorship of these awards reflects the fact that our customers and Irish people in general love their books and reading. In addition to sponsoring these awards, which year after year seem to be bigger and better, this year we successfully launched our Donate a Library initiative and donated a library to the Dunfanaghy Family Resource Centre in County Donegal. We continue to sponsor and support our Read Together campaign, which is des designed to promote and encourage parents to read with their children. And of course, our book club continues to go from strength to strength and is now the largest of its kind in Ireland. Tonight, we have our own specific award. It's the Borgosh Energy Book Shop of the Year Award, and it's our way of recognising and promoting the, the local Irish bookshop and the important role it plays in our society, in our local towns and villages. Since we started this award a number of years ago, the annual number of votes from customers who want to support their local bookshop has grown enormously. This year, the award has attracted almost 11,000 votes. To all the shortlisted bookshops, some of you are very welcome return visitors that's testament to the connection you're making to your localities, to your communities, and to your customers. Next year, who knows, we might just outdo X Factor. Every year I prepare my speech for these awards, I truly try to say something different. But when it comes to reflecting upon the quality of Irish writing, I find myself repeating the same superlatives. Because every year, in each category, the quality of the books is always truly outstanding. Congratulations to this year's shortlisted authors. There are wonderful books in every category for us all to enjoy. And indeed, we have two authors that this year were longlisted for the Booker Prize. If you say that quickly, it almost seems matter of fact. And that's because we in Ireland have long been privileged to enjoy books written by our own countrymen and women who are not only good, but are world class at what they do. I have every confidence next year you'll accuse me of saying something similar. I'd like to congratulate John Banville on his Lifetime Achievement Award. I hope John enjoys tonight and understands the huge regard all Irish book lovers have for him. John's standing in Irish literature was assured before this award, but it's wonderful to have an event where such a great writer can be acknowledged by fans and peers alike. I wish to thank the Irish Book Awards Committee for all the hard work they've put into making this night happen. Special thanks to Alistair Giles, John Tracy and Bert Wright. Thanks to RTE for giving such a great platform for books and reading at this time, especially to Keelan Shanley, and to John Murray, who are going to do a fabulous job over the course of the night. And once again, thanks to the people who, without whom we couldn't have this, the Irish writers, for another wonderful year of Irish writing. Please know what you do matters. Please keep doing it. Thanks very much. <laughs> 